Hi everyone, let us discuss additive properties of complex numbers. So in previous video, we have already seen how to add to complex numbers. Let us recall the definition and then we will go further. Okay. So for, if you have two complex numbers, Z1 is equal to X1 comma Y1, Z2 is equal to X2 comma Y2, both of them are complex numbers. Okay. So then Z1 plus Z2. That means x1 y1 plus x2 y2. So you know that we add component wise. So x1 plus x2, right? Addition of first two components, comma y1 plus y2, addition of uh, second components. Okay, so in this way we define addition of two complex numbers, right? So that addition satisfies certain properties. So let us discuss all those properties one by one and we will discuss their short proofs also. So first property is closure property. Let me mention here closure property. Okay, so it is closure property. Or you can say addition is a binary operation. It means if you take two complex numbers, if you add them, then again you will have a complex number. It is element of C. So that is for Z1 comma Z2. Suppose we have two complex numbers. If you add Z1 plus Z2, then again it is a complex numbers. Okay, so that is called closure property or you can say addition is a binary operation. Let us go further. The second property is commutative property. Let us discuss commutative property. Commutative property. Okay, so what it means, let us see. For that, we need to have two complex numbers. So I am taking Z1 is equal to x1 y1 and z2 is equal to x2 y2 be any two complex numbers right so z1 plus z2 so you know that how to add two complex numbers so x1 y1 we have right z1 is nothing but and z2 is nothing but x2 y2 so you know that how to add them so uh, component wise addition x1 plus x2 and y1 plus y2 but so you know that uh, x1, x2, y1, y2, all these are real numbers. We are adding real numbers, getting. So addition is commutative in real numbers. That means uh, 2 plus 3 is same as 3 plus 2. So similarly, x1 plus x2 is same as x2 plus x1. So therefore, we what can we write here? x2 plus x1. Similarly, y1 plus y2 is same as y2 plus y1. Okay, since all these are real numbers and we have already studied all these properties in first year bsc okay all these properties of real number so what can we do we can make them separate that means x2 y2 plus x1 y1 okay again we express as addition of two complex numbers so you know that how to add them x first component plus first second component plus second component so the first complex number is nothing but z2 and the second complex is no, number is nothing but z1 actually we started with z1 plus z2 and finally, we got Z2 plus Z1. Actually, Z1 and Z2 are any complex number, any arbitrary complex number. So if it is true for Z1, Z2, that means it is true for every complex numbers. Getting. So what I want to say for any two complex numbers, Z1 and Z2, Z1 plus Z2 is equal to Z2 plus Z1. So that's why we say addition is commutative in C. Okay. So let us go for the third property that is associative property. Let me mention here associative property okay for that we need to have three complex numbers so let us take z1 z2 z3 let z1 is equal to x1 y1 okay this is one complex number z2 is equal to x2 y2 and z3 is equal to x3 y3 any three complex numbers i have taken here okay so there is no more space to write, make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So now consider, okay, so now I'm going to consider, let me consider here, Z1 plus Z2 plus Z3. Okay, so let us find its value. So let us put the values, Z1 means X1, Y1, Z2 means X2, Y2 and Z3 means X3, Y3. Let me write it here, X1, Y1 plus Z2 is x2 y2 and z3 is x3 y3 right 
so you know that first always we solve the bracket so x1 y1 let me write it here so let me add these two complex numbers first so what will happen x2 plus x3 right and here let us add second components y2 plus y3 so now we have two these two complex numbers we are going to add them so let us add first component so we'll have x1 i am adding in this first component which is x1 plus x2 plus x3 and let me add y1 in the second component y1 plus y2 plus y3 so after that what will i do i will make them separate but see i will write in this way okay so i am keeping x1 x2 together and only i am taking x3 outside and here also i will do here y1 y2 i'll keep them together and i will write here x3 comma y3 i have taken that x3 y3 outside okay so yes uh, by definition of addition of two complex numbers again we will have this one if you add first component plus x3 you will have this one and second component plus y3 we will have this one okay so let me make them separate for this bracket also so we will have x1 y1 plus x2 y2 right and here what will i do x3 y3 so you know that the first one is nothing but z1 second one is nothing but z2 and the third one is nothing but z3 actually we started with z1 plus z2 plus z3 and what we got finally z1 plus z2 plus z3 getting so that is called associative property and addition is associative in c getting so complex addition is associative so this is our conclusion so in this way we proved that uh, that uh, complex addition is associative so let us go for the next property this is our fourth property that is existence of existence of additive identity additive identity okay existence of additive identity what it means it means there is one complex number such that if you add that number in any other complex number you will have the same number getting so that is called additive identity and yes in a complex numbers we have zero uh, which works as an additive identity so let me mention here there exists zero zero is a complex number having real and imaginary parts both of them are zero such that such that let me mention here z plus zero z means what x1 or xy you can take any complex number having real part x imaginary part y getting plus zero zero means zero zero so you know well how to add x plus zero will have x y plus zero will have y which is equal to z again this is true for all z belongs to c so z plus zero is equal to z we get and just now we proved that addition is commutative so therefore what can we write therefore z1 plus zero is equal to zero plus z is equal to z this is true for any complex number z so therefore zero therefore zero is additive identity additive identity in c okay so in c yeah so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it then we will go further so the next property is existence of additive inverse okay so what it means if you have any complex number okay so for any z1 belongs to c there exists some complex number z in c such that such that z1 plus z is 0 z1 plus z is 0 that means 0 is additive identity so that's why we are getting if you for any complex number z there will be some complex number z okay for any complex number z1 there will be some complex number z such that if you add them we will have a additive identity or you if you add in this way z plus z1 then also we get the same additive identity so then we say z is additive inverse of z1 okay uh, yes then z is additive inverse of z1 and it is denoted as we denote it uh, in this way minus z1 okay so which is a additive uh, inverse okay of z1 so yes properties are over here make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you bye bye